Linda Monzen walked up to the A&P supermarket where her sister had been working for the past two weeks. She noticed that Sydney's bicycle was sitting outside, secured by a padlock. Linda entered the store and headed for the produce counter. Where's my sister? She asked the female store clerk. Is she taking her break? Can you tell her that I'm here? Your sister didn't show up for work tonight, the clerk replied with annoyance. I've had to stay and work a double. They're making me cover her shift. Linda was befuddled. Snid's bike is chained up outside. What do you mean she's not here? The clerk shrugged her shoulders as she wrapped a head of fresh lettuce for a customer. Don't know, but tell her that it's not cool to stick me with her shift, especially on a Friday night. Maybe she's partying in the dunes with some friends, Linda deduced. She'll be back for her bike. You can tell her yourself then. Linda left the market and returned to her cottage. The next day, she visited her sister's apartment on Connett Street, the place that she shared with her boyfriend, Roland Salvador. Is my sister here? Didn't come home last night, he said and shrugged. Aren't you the least bit concerned? No biggie. It's the holiday weekend, he said lazily. She's probably sleeping on somebody's couch or something. Can I come in? Linda asked. She was met with another shrug as the boyfriend opened the door. Linda walked through the smoke-filled living room into their cluttered bedroom and over to the nightstand. Sydney's pocketbook was hung over a chair and a bottle of pills was left on the table. She's on a special prescription for chronic palpitation, she reminded Roland. She'd never leave her pills behind. Linda coaxed Roland to grab a jacket and join her as they door-knocked around the village in search of Sydney. 